and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my channel, The McCoy Gaming Experience. My name is James McCoy, and happy Monday to you all. Yes, we are in a brand new school week, brand new work week, and, uh, you know, this is episode two of Dying Light, and before we actually continue on with the gameplay, I just want to let you all know that if you happen to like the video, go ahead and click that like button, that's much appreciated, show some love and support. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, that's much appreciated as well. Um, we just started doing this last night. I picked up the game yesterday, uh, bought it, you know, brand spanking new, Walmart, you know, 30 bucks. Um, basically, um, we've already done episode one, a live stream last night, Sunday, March 19th, to kick off the new series of Dying Light. And I will tell you, I will be posting two videos a day instead of one, Dying Light and WB2K17 My Career Mode. Right now, uh, this is episode two of Dying Light, and this is where we left off at last night. Uh, trying to actually, you know, this is actually a checkpoint, so we were trying to actually uh, take out this big ugly uh, zombie and actually try to turn the lights back on as well. So let's go ahead and get into it, get back into it. So hopefully, you know, enjoy the video. And uh, you know what, if you want to see more of this, let me know. So we're going to actually run like hell in this video, in this uh, episode, because again, you know what? I couldn't actually do anything as far as you know what having this guy keep on uh, having this guy just keeps on chasing me, this zombie, and uh, we're trying to actually turn on the uh, so, you know turn on the power back to the lots because all the lots actually went off because everything overloaded when we went to the power poles and turned the lots on. So that's where we're at right now. So what we want to do is actually get the zombie to follow us because he's going to be slow moving. So we want to get the zombie to follow us because you got to think he's carrying this uh, big, big hammer topper deal. So uh, you know what? This will keep him busy for a while. We're going to try to turn these power substations back on. <laughs> if I can just pull it off, there you go. And uh, this is where we want to do now. We actually uh, got to turn on this other uh, sub generator. On press it, yes. All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. All right, so we have no firecrackers, we have nothing, we have no uh, lock picks or anything. So we're going back to our safe house because it's getting dark. And you're going to have zombies uh, running up uh, against us, so we need to try to uh, get back to our... Uh... Come on, get up there, get up there! Oh, sh... Oh, snap! So that's what we got going on right now. We're just trying to get back to our. Uh, we're going to try to get back to our uh, safe house. Is what we're going to do. So we got to try to avoid these zombies and try to stay on the rooftops. No. And this is actually a great game, all right? Because I, and the reason why I even picked it up because there's like a, been a lot of good reviews. Uh, you know, a lot of great things has been said about this game. So you know what? Why not give it a chance? Why not give it a try? And look at these zombies just occupying, the, overtaking the streets. So 
so we want to actually try to, yeah, we're actually, there we go, baby, there we go. We're finally at the safe zone. We're going to see how much we can, oh, oh shit. Freaking weird zombies covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know, will you? All right. So we gotta sleep through the night, but before we do anything else, we actually need to go acquire some skills because I think we can actually rank up. So we actually, uh, you know, pretty much got our skills up. So right now what we need to do is actually uh, go get us some sleep. So it'll be the next day. Okay, give me a sec. Alright, so this is 10 hours later. Okay. Okay, you completed the prologue in the co-op co -op mode is actually now available. So press the options game menu where you can join other players, try to fight zombies with friends, and completely new experience, including friendly co competitions and team challenges. Alright. So we, we can actually change our outfits now. So... Now we actually change into our urban outfit. I can't believe it. it's already 10 hours later, so we need to actually go talk to, uh, I forgot what his name, talk to Spike, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so we got new, we got new, uh, there we go. We finally made some lock picks, so that's what we needed. Uh, we don't want to leave the safe zone. Well, yeah, we're going to leave the safe zone. We're going to have to... Oh, well. So we need to go talk to Spike right now. And try to figure out what the shit, what, you know, what's going on, what the hell is going on here. there we're almost there <sighs> all right our 
stamina is low, we ought to try to consume it a little bit, conserve it. We're gonna go talk to Spike. Also, just want to let everyone know that, you know, each episode, every video gameplay I do, um, you know, when I upload, I'm going to do 15, uh, maybe 20 minutes tops. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. So, this is going to be a little bit of a good series. See how uh, far we can... See how far we can actually go. Whoa! Alright, Spike should be here somewhere. Try to get over here somehow. Okay, let's see if we can level up. Multi throw or kick stun? Uh, well, I think we might do multi throw. Can we do slide or do you want to do grapple? I think we. Um, I think we might use that. <laughs> there we go, baby. Let's talk to Spike. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. Keep a lookout for the colored smoke. Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Alright, so we need to go... Alright, so we're going to rank up, do our survival, so which one do we want? Boosters or... I think we'll do a booster. So what we're going to do, uh, I think uh, we're actually going to... So we already talked to Spock, we've already made it through our first knot. So, you know, this is episode two. I think what we do, we'll go talk to Brickett right quick, all right? Go back to the tower. And once we get back to the tower, then that's when we're going to actually end things off for this episode of The Dying Light, episode two. So. Again, it's, this game is not too much. This is not a bad game at all. I love it. I have to figure out how to get in here. I 
Yeah, well. Well, this is not right, dude. Come on. Back at the tower. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. There we go. We're at the safe zone, back at the tower. I wonder if there's anything else that we need to find or do before we actually, uh... Okay, well that being said, we're gonna actually go up. Turn the flashlight off. There we go. Got to talk to the leader. What's the government doing? Where's the army? Right, the elevator up. We're gonna meet Brackett, or whatever this dude's name is. After that, Brackett's mission failed. Breakers. Jade yeah. called a meeting in the Brecken. tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Bracken and confirm his identity. So we confirm his identity, then uh, we'll uh, actually uh, call it quits on this episode. When would they let us out? Don't want to trade. Alright, it's over here. Headquarters. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. 
worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Alrighty then, that being said, we are actually gonna... We're actually gonna go ahead and call it quits right here. We have already confirmed uh, Brecken's identity. And we do have a new mission that we're gonna be uh, going after in tomorrow's episode, episode 3 of Dying Light. So that being said, my name is James McCoy. Again, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That's much appreciated. And I'll see you guys uh, in my next video. Uh, don't forget, later on today, not taking away anything from Dying Light, but uh, we will be doing WWTK 17 My Career Mode as we're still playing as Hurricane Kurt Davis, and we are going to be, uh, it's our first day as the United States Champion. So uh, don't forget about that. I'll see you all again in my next video. Peace. Yeah.